Hey guys, good morning. So, it's our first day in Hong Kong, and it is freezing. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, we're going to be going over to Hong Kong Island later in the day, and there'll be a meetup for China Uncensored. I'm pretty much ready to go. Uh, all I have to do is some editing first, and oh, by the way, Keith, thanks for the socks. Bruce Lee, kind of perfect for uh, this city. I'm gonna go out there into the wild and get you a steaming bowl of kanji. <laughs> what do you want in your kanjis? Everything. A pig liver slash fish guts slash. You want weird stuff, right? I'll, I'll, I'll get Shelly a normal one. You can get a weird stuff. Do you guys want Yo Town stuff? Yeah. I can't guarantee you that I'll know what I'm doing. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Guys, I'm having trouble getting out the door. This is not going well, guys. Uh, Chris, do you know how to do this? What if there's a fire? It does seem stuck. This bow's unwell for breakfast. That makes no sense. Somehow it magically worked. Shelly, good job with your magic. I'll see you guys. This place looks awesome. It smells so good. Look at this, guys. This is how breakfast should be had. Yeah. Chris prepares for China. No, no, no. I'm working. I'm working hard. Working hard. Working hard. <laughs> a break from editing. My head is getting foggy, but it's getting sunny outside. Look how beautiful that view is. I think that needs to be done. Well. It's getting sunny in Hong Kong. A perfect cure for mental blockage. A nice view of a beautiful cityscape. Sometimes you need to hop off the treadmill. Just let your brain wander for a bit. You know, before it explodes. All right guys, we're on our way to the meetup. Look at this nice suit. All right, Chris, how many people do you think are gonna be at this meetup? Uh, 8,000. Okay, Matt? 103. 103. Shelly, how many people are going to be at this meetup? Uh, I'm going to go 105. Okay, I, I think it's going to be somewhere in between Shelly and Matt's guess and Chris's. So I'm going to go with 5,000. Dinner was too good, so we're back. Okay, guys, before you judge me for going to the same restaurant two vlogs in a row, realize we hardly have time to sleep, let alone wander around looking for good food. When I'm working, sometimes I just have to put convenience before pleasure. But sometimes when I'm lucky, I can get both. There's something about the roast goose in Hong Kong that's just better. I don't know why. It's like meatier. There's less bones in the stateside. And maybe it's cheaper too. I don't know. But I think I'll be eating roast goose like every meal until I get sick of it. That's usually what me and Ben do. Oh, this is not. You only eat like, you only eat, like this much of your chopsticks. You're taking like three servings. Oh, Matt so is making Shelly angry. I'm having trouble. All right, I got it, I got it. I'm gonna do this one. <laughs> Matt, use your teeth as scissors. It's still connected. People are, people are laughing at you. <laughs> Shelly's, know, I swear. Shelly's so embarrassed right now. Look, look at the sad look on her face. Very sad. Who ate too much pork? No. Who ate too much pork? No. Yes, you did. I need more pork. I'm too, I'm too tired because I haven't had enough pork. I saw this from afar. Oh, it's butter. It's butter. <laughs> Chris, 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 Chris. Guess what, guys? What? It's butter. It's a mountain of butter. <laughs> <laughs>
Columbine, your mountain of butter. <laughs> Everything there apparently is buttered up. I think a food coma is coming on. I will be sleeping in this MRT ride. But anyway, we're going to Hong Kong Island right now to go to the fan meetup. Should be interesting to see how functional Chris will be. Um, he has passed out before from eating large amounts of food. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Sure. No. No. Look like, people look left like, and right. They look like Biggie Smalls on there. Biggie Smalls? Or an Easter uh, Island uh, thing. All right, great. Awesome. Now, all right. A lot of so, people. Um, guys, we just did the mannequin uh, challenge with Chris as Agent Smith. It was awesome. That was a lot of fun. We gotta do more of these at these uh, fan meetups. I'm always amazed by what you can get fans to do. You know, I still haven't been able to wrap my mind around it. The thought that people would travel so far just to see you in person is still kind of new to me. I mean, I see a lot of this in my work, but it's never happened to me before. Yet, as a casual observer, I still find it heartwarming to see so many people get involved and give up their time to be with the people that entertain them. Which is an important reminder I think all creators should never forget. In the end, it's the fans who fuel everything, and without them, we're nothing.